Gyuka Kasami, the flower master of the Four Seasons, an enigmatic yokai who was only seen during the earlier days of Toho, yet still remains a popular pick for a lot of fans. Yuka is described as being a pretty strong, as well as a pretty old yokai, being one of the few who were aware of the cause of the flower incident in Phantasmagoria of Flower View. While she is famously depicted as outwardly malicious and sadistic, even Akio claims as such in perfect memento in strict sense, she actually seems to often keep a calm demeanor around others, though she does enjoy toying with whoever decides to challenge her, and is very well aware and proud out of her strength as a yokai. Given the nature of Akio's book though, it's likely that Yuka had a say for her own article, so as to keep others from getting close to her. All in all, she could be considered a pretty standard yokai, one who mostly keeps to herself and chooses not to engage in trouble unless necessary. In her introduction in Lotus Land story, she resides with the Mugen Khan, a mansion located in the fantasy world behind the Hagure Shrine. In that same game, she acted as both the stage 5 and 6 boss, the only time a character was featured like that in the series. Fast forward into the Windows canon, she seems to live in the Garden of the Sun, a field of sunflowers located near the human village, though it's said she moves to wherever flowers grow depending on the season. This field occasionally becomes a concert venue, run by Toyosato Mimi no Miko, so you have to wonder if there was an agreement between the two here. Another change between PC-98 and Windows is in Yuka's appearance, going from having long hair and wearing pants to shorter hair and a skirt. Before her return in Phantasmagoria of Flower View, Yuka did not have the surname Kasami attached to her. She also didn't have her now iconic ability to manipulate flowers. As a side note, Although the canonicity of PC-98 is always up for debate, PUFB contains small references to Rainbow's first encounter with Yuka, that would slightly this is simply soon having fun and not much else. What's probably her most famous attack comes from Little Stan's story. It was dubbed the Jewel Spark by the community, which has also resulted in the theory that Marisa's own Master Spark spell card was based or outright stolen from Yuka. It would seem soon had a soft spot for Yuka early on. The mentioned double feature in Lotus Land's story, her subsequent playable appearance in Mystic Square, her return Returned from Phantasmagoria Flower Review, and one more appearance that's often forgotten. The members of the amusement makers group Sun was part of created a sort of spoof on Toho project, called Seiko Project, for which Sun contributed art, music, and his own characters. In the second game of that series, Kyogyoku, Yuka shows up as a playable character, and she has a really good portrait. Sun even composed a new theme for her, Lovely Mano Cherry Blossoms Japanese Flower, which would later be arranged for the music city Dolls in Pseudo Paradise. You know, speaking of, Yuka's one of the non protagonists with the most music themes composed by Sun, having received two in Lotus Land Story, one in Kyogyoku, and then another new one for her POFB appearance for a total of four. Not much else to say about Yuka, she stands out for being one of the two returning characters from the PC-98 era and that's pretty much it. We haven't seen her since Phantasmagoria of Flower View, aside from small background appearances. She wasn't even present in any of the spin-off games that came after. Will more be done with her in the future? Probably not. For now, she's likely having a good time, enjoying her life tending to her flowers.